COVID-19 pandemic had caused some countries to shut their borders and halt certain international activities such as tourism. And even after it has been curtailed for some time now, there's still need to take precautions. In a recent development, Japan Tourism Agency has announced that it would begin to allow small group tours in May as part of a test tourism trial before the country fully reopens to foreign visitors. A statement on Tuesday by the country's tourism agency states that the trial will allow government to assess health and safety protocols and how to deal with COVID-19 infections among the trial participants. A part of the statement reads, this venture will allow us to verify compliance and emergency responses for infection prevention and formulate guidelines for travel agencies and accommodation operators to keep in mind. Note that this trial was delayed from the end of 2021 due to increased border control measures against the Omicron variant, but will now be open to triple vaccinated tourists from Australia, Singapore, Thailand, and the United States. A report reveals that Japan Tourism Agency will plan the tours with travel agencies and incoming tour conductors will accompany tour group at all times. Tourists in the tour groups will have fixed travel itineraries. This latest decision is as a result of the mountain pressure faced by Japan from domestic businesses and the international community to reopen the border. A report by CNN states that Japan's current border entry measures allow 10,000 new arrivals per day, but does not include leisure tourists. For the time being, citizens, residents, researchers, students, resident family members, and business travelers with prior approval can enter. Although some are being quarantined depending on where they are coming from. Hopefully, all of these measures will help contain the spread of the virus so that the nation can consider a broader approach to regaining its stand on tourism and other businesses.